No, like we actually have to. We actually oh have to talk. Are you looking here? I know I'm supposed to be looking there. No, that's good. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, look at the camera. The camera is big. You can yes. see its eyes. Focus. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something very different. Clearly, it's not a tutorial. I'm going to do a tag, and I figured that a tag video would be so much more fun if I had people with me. So I have my makeup BFFs with me. Yes, there's such a thing. Okay, um, this is Evelle, my darling of coveralls and lipsticks, and of course there's Dima Umel, who you probably already know. This no, please, is this not this? Can you touch me? That evil chick. Formerly oh. that evil chick. Okay. Now. Okay. Yeah. So what is with this that tag? So basically I'm going to read out the questions and in each question you have an option. So it's either this or that. So each person says which one you prefer. Should there be like an order in Yeah, just go like from this so that by the time people finish answering I can get expo from what is in case Frank no. no. Yeah, in case no, we should do you should go that way, then this way, then that way. That doesn't make any sense. That's, that's, that's fun. Yeah, there's no yeah. order. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah, it's good. So, yeah, it's good. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so. Let's see how long it takes to not to jump up from her seat. <laughs> start off with the makeup questions because of course if you're here I'm guessing you're kind of into makeup so this that makeup questions blush or bronzer the blush for me it's blush me blush as well why is bronzer. like the only bronzer that I knew that I would use often it was the cover girl bronzer but then I use it for contouring so <laughs> it doesn't like serve the you know the purpose that you know the bronzer is even supposed to yeah, serve. Yeah, it's not shimmery. And it's not shimmery. I was kind of hesitant because I do use bronzer. Oh really? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, don't, don't feel like bronzer. I don't use bronzers at all. Lip gloss or lipstick? Gloss definitely. For every day, I, I just rather go for a gloss. They are easier when it comes to like touching up. Whereas if it's if the lipstick has a certain type of texture, then they can be a little bit tricky when it comes to touching up. Okay. Does that make sense? What is your answer now? If it didn't make sense to really you, <laughs> for me, it's actually lipstick, which is 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 a sign of growth. Because when I first started doing makeup, I always did glosses. I would do gloss of any color. All the drama was always my eyes. It was always the eyeshadow and the line and everything was going on. But my lips would always be just gloss. But now I tend to do more simple eyes, like I have now, or even just nothing really just eyeliner and then i would do a lip so for me lipstick definitely for me lipstick as well yes yeah. i had to be the two i do like gloss i do like gloss but if i have to choose okay. the two it will be lipstick okay. Okay. i wear lipstick every day so. okay. yeah because she's coveralls and Duh. lipstick did you get it did you get it <laughs> did you get it no. <laughs> so the third question um eyeliner or mascara <sighs> Oh, because, because I love me some mascara, but I, if I had to choose between the two, it has to be eyeliner so that I look a weak. Eyeliner! Ding ding! No, for me, definitely mascara. Really? For me, for me, it would definitely be mascara. I feel like I can actually do without the mascara. If I am without the liner, if I have a very good mascara that kind of gets into my lashes and just pulls everything up, then I'd rather do that than have my liner without my um, my lashes like defined yeah it's very easy for me to choose eyeliner because I feel like lashes are more important for me anyways so by lashes I mean false lashes <laughs> I'm scared of cut it <laughs> and while we're on lashes can we do two pairs because why not yeah yeah, yeah. the fuller the better really mm -hmm. so okay. yeah foundation or concealer foundation ah which one is concealer <laughs> <laughs> If you if you're one of those people that have like very very flawless skin, your skin is not textured, it's not I it's use. no spot. Please, please, can you stop? If you have very you textured skin, this is how to do it. if you have very smooth flawless skin, I'd see how you probably get it with just concealer concealing. Like there's little little imperfections that you have, but please, no foundation for me. I can't not do it. No, no. For me, foundation, also because I feel like the terms foundation and concealer are so different. There are brands really trying to sell you two products. Yeah. Concealer is usually a lot thicker though. Yeah, yeah but then you can get a full yeah, coverage foundation, foundation that's going to yeah. deal with a concealer. I guess it's the pro in me. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. I like to 
kind of try and save time. Yeah. So I would want, I would rather use one product twice than use one product and drop it and pick the one that's now different this mm -hmm. because it's gonna cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that makes sense. Sense. If I had no choice, I wear foundation every day, but if I had no choice, it would be concealer. Concealers normally, what they should be, should be higher pigment than a foundation. So if it's only concealer, I'll just you know, thin it out, use it as a foundation and apply concealer where I need to. So that actually makes a lot of sense. Because that's what concealer yeah. is supposed to be. It's yeah. supposed to have more pigment. Yeah, that's true because foundation. you can actually... So you share it out. Yeah, you can share it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Ebena will share it out yeah. to make the foundation. <laughs> yeah, I will have to. On, to make it concealer. <laughs> I do not will just use the foundation <laughs> anyway because her using foundation is really her feeling her mom because she has good But food. I do love, I use foundation every day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But you're going to have to shift from here. Maybe yeah, Ebene can come here. Yeah, so <laughs> look, this, this is, is my here. show. Okay. Do your worst. <laughs> Neutral or color eyeshadow? Neutral. I actually used to be color when I first started doing makeup. I used to me be too. all like, color. All teal, like, blue. Oh my gosh. gosh. You know I when I first signed up as a sleep distributor, that's how you would know I was a distributor. <laughs> because there was green, pink, and red. Oh, that the is. sleep original palette. Yeah, oh man. That blue and that green, that army green. Yes, like, yes. Yeah. Definitely neutral for me as well. Mm. Neutral. No, I, I feel like for every makeup person, when they started, color kind of it called creativity to us so we'll just slap it on but i still use colored eyeshadows but not as much but like every day for me it's definitely neutral neutral eyeshadows yeah. well for me yes neutral eyeshadows because that's for every day however I, my love for makeup started with eyeshadow so i'm, I'm still drawn to a beautiful teal a beautiful blue but obviously for every day i would wear neutral but speaking of which i just went today did you see yeah so you know we'll, we'll talk about it soon. Okay. That does not even wanna. But yeah, so on for an everyday basis, yeah, neutral eyeshadows. Pressed or loose eyeshadows. Pressed. Right. The truth, in all honesty, is that some of the most gorgeous like eyeshadows I've ever used, they, they, they come in pigment form and they're just so pretty. Remember when Magnolia is Magnolia? Magnolia, do they still make eyeshadows? Yes, they do, and you can still get them at seven edition. Lucky face one. Oh my gosh, I have some very like. Like some magnesia pigments, I actually brought them out yesterday again and I was playing with them and then the, these loose eyeshadows and some pigments I have from MAC as well, they're gorgeous. But then they are very, very messy and they're not really something that I recommend like for every day when you're in your hurry or whatever. So I just rather they are pressed in a pan, like easy to use. I'm not worried about like, you know, so I just go for pressed. Yeah, for convenience or like for my kit and things, I definitely prefer press just because they're easier. But loose eyeshadows are the most beautiful, most unique shades I've ever seen. Ever see. They're, they're always kind of loose. They're yeah. always loose. So it's true. different. Yeah. So for that, I mean, yeah, we need to kind of pick one. So if I absolutely had to pick one, then I would have to say pressed. But I still love loose, loose eyeshadows. eyeshadows. So I still love loose eyeshadows, especially for my <laughs> Um, for me, but as well, I would if I had to pick one, it would be pressed. However, I do agree with Stella. Some of the most beautiful colors come in um, loose pigments. But you know, if you have time, you can press those pigments exactly. into actually did that pressed one. shadows. So if you have the time, take a few of your favorite pigments, press them into um, shadows, and yeah, you're good. But mm -hmm. Yeah, fresh shadows. Yeah, and it's pretty easy. You just need to mix them with like mixing media, with, um, maybe some yeah, alcohol. Yeah, rubbing alcohol. Just mix them, put them in a metal pan, and let it set. Press them in, let them set. Yeah. Brushes or sponges? Brushes. I mean, I do like the beauty blender, duh. But yeah, but how do you do choose? a whole face with just sponges? Well, if how I had do to choose, I don't even understand. Why is this? I need my fingers. Why is this a question? Because Ooh. it doesn't make any sense. We've been doing makeup way before the beauty blender. I think that everybody, like, we've all kind of forgotten that we were actually doing makeup before beauty blender came out. And granted, it's perfect with blending out concealer and all of that. But then we used to use brushes to blend things out then. And then we blended it out nice. If you have the time, you do it seamless. But I don't see how you can do an entire face of makeup with sponges. Are you going to use those chick little things and combination eyeshadow palettes? I hate those things. Oh, gosh. They're so annoying. You can't even like there's some steps that it's not even possible. Okay, hate is a strong word. I just like them. I don't use them. Some steps where like it's not even possible. Like, yeah. How do you use a sponge to set your entire face? 
the sponge to cut a crease. How do you use a sponge to apply blush? Hey, yeah. you look yeah. like those people. <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> I think it's a sponge yeah, with cream. Yeah, you can. Even if it's powder, you can use a sponge. I just, I just... I mean, it's, it's work. And it's it will be a work. It will be a whole it's different... Yeah. yeah. No, because I really like the whole sweeping. Yeah, yeah I like and it's very, very sure. fast. And I just, I just, to me, we've yeah. all been doing makeup before the beauty business. Yeah. You know, brushes. Yeah. yeah. Brushes. Okay, so this is a bonus question because it's not here, but I just thought about it. If you had to choose one makeup brand, and that was all you could use from start to finish, Ooh. nothing else. Like you can't <laughs> use, any, you can't use a pencil, you can't use a brush, just one makeup brand. <laughs> oh, okay. What would it be? You know, honestly, it's MAC because I feel like I can go into MAC. I, some of their products I don't really like, mm -hmm. but then MAC is a place that I feel like I can actually walk into and then I can get everything. And it's just that the only, the, the only factor that might come in and kind of mess things up is price, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you can actually go into MAC, get brushes, setting space, primers, eyes like there, you can get everything from MAC. For me, <laughs> It has to be makeup forever. Oh, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. No, it has to be. Hands you know. down, because <laughs> for me, I feel like when they release products, for instance, I can kind of tell that this product was created by a makeup artists, yeah. or a group of makeup artists came up with the concept of this product. Like they are well thought out. Like everything is. Not to say that everything is perfect. From I've tried some um, things from Makeup Forever as well, but then like. Some of them, like they were like very big misses for me. I feel like maybe your appreciation comes from a, a, a pro point of view because I feel like I'm an everyday person, really. And then Makeup Forever is they're also not cheap. They are. Yeah. yeah no, the cheap. question now is, what brand do you choose? It's not about the price. Right. We're going to talk about price. It's not about price. It's about quality. Yeah, the will, will change. Quality. It's, it's about, about quality. So you think that the quality is better than Mac? Yeah, most definitely. Most yes. definitely. Because also, I'm not saying Mac is bad, mm -hmm. but my personal opinion, I feel like Mac has changed over the years. So mm -hmm. Mac today isn't really what it used to be. Like the last maybe three, four brushes I bought from Mac. Mm -hmm. Do you know that some of the makeup brushes that I what? Use, uh, do you know the, the Mac makeup? Wait, what? <laughs> the, the Mac makeup. But brushes. then again, I know for a fact that they have different. Um, suppliers, so not the same. Oh, they do have different, yeah, different, different countries. So not oh. the same person makes all their brushes. So maybe that was a bad batch, or maybe. Oh. But the thing was shedding like darling yaki weave, and I bought it for like 30, 40 euros, and was not pleased. And all the brushes that that you guys see, like people probably see me using on my channel, every single Mac brush, most of them, like ninety percent of them, I got them like four, six years ago, and then they are so like they're still intact to the extent that you can still read the numbers out, like the numbers of the brushes. Mm -hmm. With some other brands that I own, that I actually even paid good money for, it's no longer like that. Like with time, just the brush changes. Okay, for me, um, if we're not talking price at all, I agree with that. It would be makeup forever because. Yeah, there are some, I have had some misses, but I love Makeup Forever, the quality, and like she said, you can tell that some a lot of thought has gone into it. And to answer your question from an everyday woman point of view, they do have a lot of products that are everyday woman friendly. The only thing is, you know, information, everybody just has to know what they need. Now, when it, when it, when it comes to MAC, I love MAC. I started my whole love for makeup with MAC. I think everybody And I do is. love MAC brushes. However, I find that now the quality of MAC brushes has gone down. Yeah, I prefer MAC eye brushes to their face brushes. Do you have their face the brushes? The few face brushes I have. I that do. I, I have like the one three. One. The, the one, one three is the one. Yeah, beautiful. I love that brush. That's what I have in my bag right now. The two one. I mean, the the two MAC brushes that I would say everybody has to have. MAC two two three seven. nine and the two one seven. Two and one seven two three nine. Two two, two four. Can, you can actually uh, live without the two two four if you have a Smashbox number ten. No, you're, you're fine. I'm having a Smashbox and two two four. <laughs> Brush that is really comp like looking at the two yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you yeah. cannot compare. I think that's the E30. You can't. The e but I've used a couple of other blending brushes, but it picks up so little at a time and it, it distributes it so evenly. That's the thing. OPI or China Grace? OPI. Even though I don't think it dries fast, they have a, a lot of unique colors. I'm actually such 
intro when it comes to nails. Like, I just feel like I'm not really familiar with the OPI brand. There are brands that I like, like Essie and some of them, but then like I don't really have a lot of OPI nail polishes. And then I've used very few China glaze ones. Mm -hmm. And the two times that I used them, like there wasn't really any like significant difference. difference. Yeah. So long or short. In shorts. I don't have anything on my nails, very short. Sure. Right. I, I, at first, I used to like love like nails, but because I have to wear contacts like almost on a daily basis, so it's just a lot easier putting them on without nails. Long nails. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would. Yeah. I guess I would to, <laughs> yeah. These are actually short for me. So, eh, 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 eh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Short okay, so no, this isn't medium short. Length. This is this is maybe yeah, yeah, maybe you call this medium. I actually do okay. go longer than this mm -hmm. when I'm on holiday. Wow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I always had long nails. Let me just answer a few long nail questions that I get all the time. Things I do, I learned how like makeup, I learned how to do makeup with nails on. I can write and type just as fast as the next person. I clean my butt just fine. <laughs> um, we don't normally clean butts like this. Even you with your short nails, I'm sure you don't. I don't know. People ask me all the time, how do you clean your butt? We don't do anything like this, okay? It's not done that way. <laughs> it's not done that way. I do have nails. I go from short to medium. Once in a while long, but So, it's not long, Shaq. <laughs> That's the answer. She's not with me. Okay, it's all right. Acrylic or natural? I'm 50 50. Acrylics. Most definitely natural. Okay, yeah, natural. And if it came to like, you know, nail extensions and stuff, I'd rather go for gel. They don't it's breathe when I use acrylic, but then when I use gel. Because they're already dead. Okay. Natural. <laughs> gel. No, I'm currently. They already did. Okay. Bright or darks? Most definitely bright. I just love bright nail polish. I can take it either way. It kind of depends on my mood. Yeah, but today I'm wearing bright, so I'm going to go with bright. 50-50. On my, not, on my own nails, my fingernails, more often than not, I tend towards dark. If it's not dark, it'll probably be neutral, so more of tones and... That's actually the opposite with me. I tend to go for like bright on my fingernails and dark. Dark on my toes. Yeah, I do that too. Then I did white one time, was awesome. I don't... Yeah, white I always looks good. Mm -hmm. No, white. 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 I should need toenails. I feel like yeah. they look amazing on the toes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You don't do that after this. But if you're ever going to do white on your nails, make sure it's gel. I don't even bother with more polish. It's just yeah, it's a bit. Flower or no flower? Mm -hmm. Because no where does Vic I have something to say? Where does Vic have something to say? Answer, let me go. Answer, let me go. Okay, I'm going to select Dimago first because I feel like she's about to throw shade. Give me flower for, excuse me. I'm actually not really like. <laughs> I'm like, no. Give me something reason. No, give me on your nails. Yes. Or flowers or no, no, no. Please, nothing. What are you thinking about? <laughs> um, definitely plain. I don't like it when there are a lot of designs. Right. Like maybe so. if the if the flowers are like maybe done with rhinestones mm -hmm. and like maybe yeah, but they're Glitter. colored like colored patterned. No. Okay. Well, I'm definitely team nail art. You mm -hmm. know, but with moderation. So maybe I'll have like a feature nail. You know. Okay, perfume or body slash every perfume. 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 Um, lotion or body butter. Definitely lotion. Okay. Just better for like the weather that we live in. I can use anything as long as I don't have white feet, mm -hmm. and as long as I don't sweat during the day. Body wash or soap. If I had to choose one, it would be soap because some body washes tend to leave the film on my body and then start to break out. If I had to choose one, I think I'd go body wash. Yeah, same thing with me. It just makes for like e an easier shower. Mm -hmm. I actually use some soaps that actually leave, leave the film, film as well. Yeah. They're all just like heavy moisturizing. Like oh, that yeah, is the moisture now that you asked for. But that's a film. You asked for moisture, they gave you. <laughs> but that's a film. That's what you want. Ask for moisture. So it's not <laughs> yeah. What is it? No, what if you just wash your lips you wash your potato, everything goes away. <laughs> Blush or other bath company? I do like Lush, but I'm not. I don't stand 
So other bad company. Okay. I think it's, this question is actually pretty weird because I feel like there's so many other bad yeah, companies so that are more ones. popular than Lush. Wouldn't you expect it to be like Body Shop or other or? Yeah, and the, they don't, they don't have but I love their bath bombs though. Like their bath bombs are amazing, and then their lip scrubs are also good. But it comes to like here in Nigeria, between Lush and the Body Shop, there are a lot of people that actually stock up on Body, body Shop, shop yeah. and Lush. Yeah, so definitely Body Shop. I used to be a oh, huge body shop mm -hmm. added and then when I was in Paris I started liking Eat Rocher. Actually here in Nigeria which is awesome. Yes. Yes, so it's a French excuse me, what did you call it? Eve Rocher. Eve Rocher. No 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 Eve, like the lady in the Garden of Eden. Eve Rocher. Okay, go to Eve Rocher. Say pa Yubis. So they pay Yubis. If you ask me to pronounce what she just did. Yves <laughs> Roche. Is it Che? It's Che because there's no S. I don't even know how. It's an ER, so it's Roche. Silent. It's, it's like a No, the problem I have is the. the Roche. Where does that come from? The back of the throat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. R is not there. No, no, it's the E Roche. No, no, no. You don't have a Roche. It's just E Roche. It's a Roche. I just. <laughs> So that's the end of our this that tag. This was fun. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So this was this is an old tag. I think it's been around forever, but we just wanted to do it for you know the sake of it. So yeah, um, this was fun. If you'd like to see me do more tags or more videos like this, so not so much cutting creases and blending eyeshadow, but more like talking preferences, favorites, things like that, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like me to do it by myself, let me know and I'll do it. Or if you'd like me to bring back my lovely makeup BFFs, we can do that too. Thanks so much for watching and thanks to these guys for coming. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Leave us a comment. I don't know why all the evil eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next week with my next video. Bye guys. Bye. I'm in focus. Your eyes are complete. Do you really look sharp? Your eyes are complete. Do you wear glasses? You wear glasses. Your eyes are complete. Oh, I know what you mean. Uh, oh my gosh. Do we look sharp? No, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm wearing good. contacts and I don't think they are blurry, but please don't take my word for this because let me check you there. I'm not deployed. Nobody is leaving. No, who is leaving? Who is leaving? Direct send. You never did traditional dance in school. Yeah, but not this step now. Go, ma. Go, 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 go. 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 They give you the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll come and start blowing the flute for you. Cook, cook, cook. You didn't mean. Oh, pretty. Yes, Lisa. Yes. Because. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because. <laughs> <laughs> that I have. We have so many shit going on for him. So how oh, we have to because I haven't answered. Oh you've not? No. Okay. Oh,